Remember, the API can fail even if the job itself succeeded. When somebody gave us this API, we said, okay, we'll write some code. It'll query for all the jobs. It'll take all the jobs and see which one's completed because if it hasn't completed yet, we don't worry about it. From those jobs, we'll see which ones have succeeded. From the succeeded jobs, we'll capture all the data. Then we'll load that data into a data frame and we'll do some analysis on the result. And so, simply as that, we're gonna get all the jobs and grab the completed ones. Then we'll print that out to the screen, to our logging. For each job, we'll get the status, but knowing that that API endpoint could fail, we're gonna do this in the loop until that succeeds. Once that succeeds, or sorry, once the API call succeeds, we're gonna ask if the job succeeded. Remember, the API can fail even if the job itself succeeded. So here, we're gonna get whether the job succeeded, and if so, we'll note Okay, this is one of the succeeded jobs and we'll print those out. And then for all of the jobs that we know have hit the success mode, we'll again query one more time until we get a successful API result with the results. We'll grab those results, we'll put them into a list, we'll concatenate that list into a single pandas data frame and we'll do a simple operation on this. We'll do a weighted value, or sorry, a weighted mean here, a grouped weighted mean which we know is a computational slow operation 